Brandon Abernathy, Technical Sales Engineer with Classic Ingenuity. In this episode, we will start our packaging polymer series with resin ID code number one, polyethylene terephthalate, or better known as PET. PI Sustainability Champion Zach Moscato is here to share more about this very popular polymer. So what types of packaging applications are commonly used in PET? PET is used extensively in the packaging industry. Um, think about water bottles and soda bottles, mm -hmm. also fruit and produce packaging. What makes PET such a great fit for those packaging types? PET has many desirable properties for packaging applications. It has a high level of clarity, so if you need transparency to a product, it's a good fit. It's also very lightweight due to its superior rigidity and strength. Mm -hmm. So this is the primary reason why it has a lower greenhouse gas emission footprint than uh, glass and aluminum. Mm -hmm. Also, PET can be efficiently molded into a variety of shapes and sizes mm -hmm. uh, in, a, in a variety of conversion processes. What about recycling PET? So PET is the world's most recycled plastic. Uh, in fact, about 1.6 billion pounds of PET gets recycled in U.S. end markets every year. According to NAPCOR, about 27% of bottles get recycled. Mm -hmm. And for thermoforms, it's about around 5 to 7%. What types of products are made from recycled PET? So recycled PET can be made into new, new packaging items like bottles or thermoforms. Uh, also, a significant amount of P recycled PET gets used in fibers and strapping. Mm -hmm. Think of carpets and clothing. So do you see recycle rates for thermoforms improving? Yes, I do. And there's simply not enough recycled PET currently to meet demand uh, from bottles. Mm -hmm. So recovering more thermoforms is a way that we can bridge that gap. In that advancements in, in, in technology like robotic sorting equipment and uh, wash away labels will enable more recovery. How can packaging creators do their part? Packaging creators can do their part by following design for recycling guidelines. Uh, this is well within our control as packaging creators. Also get involved in collaboratives such as the Recycling Partnership, working towards fixing those system-wide uh, challenges. Great. Well, thanks for the good information, Zach. And stay tuned for our next episode of our Packaging Polymer series, where we will be discussing high-density polyethylene.